Wait, oh, where's my pencil? Picture of him moving. Wait. Third grade um, at Woodridge and Cambridge collaborate, as do all the grade levels in elementary. We met as two separate campuses and we designed lessons for science for the whole year. And then before we taught them, we got together and we did what's called a protocol. Now, you know, do you have blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes? You know, go stand in the appropriate spot. What generalization? Protocol. Uh, is something that you do to present the unit that you've written to the whole staff of teachers and they get to actually hear your thought process from the very beginning. The most powerful things that I find are that just like we ask our kids to work collaboratively, as adults the same thing applies and when you put all those brains together amazing things happen. In the protocol you present the, the unit that you designed and then there's a chance for them to ask clarifying questions and you answer their questions and then they offer you feedback. And so this gives everybody uh, a way to sort of get a little bit of buy-in because when they give you feedback and you go back and incorporate it into the unit, you know, you actually put something in there that they wanted to see. And a lot of times people have a favorite way of teaching something that might actually be a better thing that they, what they've come up might, might be better than what you came up with. So it gives you an opportunity to take out a, uh, an activity that maybe wasn't as powerful and put in something that somebody else suggested. Then it's just a win-win all the way around. In this lado, leaves that hold water, las las hojas que van a retener agua, y las las hojas que van a estar secas en dos o tres días, okay? We bounce ideas off of each other and you just never know where one person might mention something that springboards you into a totally new direction you hadn't considered. So I think that our design of instruction for kids is more powerful. We are studying life cycles and so some of us are studying life cycles of animals and we're going to also look at life cycles of plants. Okay, So we're going to study lima beans. And we're going to figure out what is the life cycle that a lima bean goes through from when it's very, very little, it's a seed, to when it's an adult plant. Through this process, everyone got a chance to design. Everyone got to use the 10 design qualities as they put together a unit. And so that was a really good process, I mean, for all of us to go through. And again, it's, it's kind of one, one of these things that maybe looks a little daunting at the beginning. But if you just dive in and get started, you find out how easy it really is to do. There's no reason for eight or nine third grade teachers on each campus to be planning third grade instruction um, without using everything that um, everybody does together. The process that you go through is very thorough so in a way it makes it easier than just thinking about thinking up things on your own. I have to say it's probably easier than designing than, than working up lessons on your own and, and of course the quality is a lot better. If you have really engaging work for kids everything else I think kind of falls into place. Well, if you're doing that hard work as a teacher of designing work that's engaging, it's so much easier. I would say you, you almost can't do it on your own, and you need to collaborate with others. Oh my gosh, I think maybe you should have had done this for us. We're making a mess. It's okay, science is messy. Yeah, okay, I'll make a mess. There's no science. People think it, it's a high quality process, and uh, therefore it's got to be better for the kids. So take a seed and you need to bury them in your soil. Bury them? Uh huh. Yes, do you have the seed? It is absolutely an ongoing process, but we could get a lot closer to perfection than we are right now, and we need to get a lot closer, I think. Great things happen when we all get together and share, and uh, the, the work for kids would not have been the same without the collaboration. What else is a seed need in order to grow oh, and thrive? Water. 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 Okay, so we have some water here. This I'd like for us to be careful not to get all over our journal. Okay. I also have some measuring spoons. So we need to we need to find the one that says 15 milliliters. And you're going to look right here on this part of the spoon. 15 milliliters. And you're going to scoop it up and then water your seed. The outcome is far superior to anything that you, that you might have done on your own. I think it's work on the front end 
but after this year and maybe one more, we will have designed some great instruction that we'll keep using, we'll tweak and we'll revise. But the hard, um, the bulk of the work will have been done. And so it's work on the front end for, I think, meaningful learning and really engaged kids that are just going to love what's going on in third grade for years and years to come. Show me move. Simon didn't say. Oh.